What's going on guys, Mixed here, back again for another gin review. And today's gin guys I'm reviewing is the Botanis, which is a nice Scottish gin and I can't wait to try this. So I'll be comparing design, price and taste. But the Botanis gin is quite unique. It's not often you see a Scottish gin because it's a dry gin and it's from the Isle of, and it's from the Isle of Isla. It's because it's an Isla gin this one. So it's got so in this string guys, it's got nine different botanicals and I can't wait to try and so see how right we are, so, so, so we'll see how this goes. So for design, I'll give you a close up of it. So as you can see guys, it's quite a nice, it's a very nice design. So as you can see, it's very nicely crafted this gin, it's a very nice bottle, I give it 8 out of 10, it's not as nice as last week's as a Roku gin, but it's a very, still a very nice design. For the Botanis Gin, I got it from Amazon, which was £31. Again, it's not badly priced at all. Again, I'd probably give that a nice 8 out of 10 again. I think for a craft gin, it's quite reasonable price, 31 quid. It's not bad at all. Because uh, some can go towards 40 or mainly 37 That's what I'd look for for a craft gin. So, so far, I've given it an 8 and an 8. Now, the most important thing now is how does it taste? So, let's uh, get into it. Now, how does it taste? That's really nice. That's a really, really nice uh, dry gin. So it's a bit more of your classic dry gin taste, not like the Roku, which is a bit more bitter. For this, you can easily make a gin and tonic with it. It's because it's very nice. Because one thing I've not mentioned with the Botanis gin, it's 46%, so it's not, it's a little bit stronger than your classic gins at 40%, like that, or even 37%, so it's a little bit on the stronger side, and I can certainly taste it. With the Botanis gin, it's got 31 different ingredients, it's absolutely incredible, and 22 are native to the Isle of Islay, it's because it's incredible. So the taste, here's what's in this gin. So Angelica root, apple mint, birch leaves, bog myrtle leaves, cassia bark, Chamomile, I'm probably saying that wrong. Cinnamon bark, coriander seed, creeping thistle flowers, and for more Scottish than that. <laughs> Hawthorn flowers, elder flowers, because I could test elder flowers. I'm trying to think of the strongest ingredient that I'm getting from it because I wish I was an expert in gin, I like tasting gin. Because all I know is nice because I'm not an expert in gin, as you can tell like that, but it's a really, really nice gin, really, really nice. I think for taste, a gun in blind without knowing what's in it, I'd give it an hour of taste. Really, really nice. It's strong, but nice, and it's certainly making very nice gin tea with it. It's going to say, it's recommended to me from Joe's GC, it's going to say, it's not let me down with this recommendation. It's absolutely beautiful, it's really nice. So of course it's got juniper, as you can taste it, because there won't be a dry gin without juniper berries in it. So we'll lemon balm, lemon peel, licorice root. So we'll it's got a little bit of licorice, meadow sweet, orange peel, orris root, peppermint leaves. I'm going to taste some peppermint. Well, so one thing I love about this gin is that you can really, really taste it. Like, like you can taste the strength, like a little bit different. You can certainly notice it at 46. But it just leaves that nice taste in the back of your throat, like that. But I think with a nice, because I think it would make a very nice gin tea, like that. So, so, so further ingredients, because I'll just read them off my phone now, the ones that I can see. So it's got ghost flowers, heather flowers. Ladies' bed straw flowers, <laughs> meadow sweet, mugwort leaves, red clover flowers, tansy, thyme leaves, watermint leaves, white clover, and wood sage leaves, and that's absolutely incredible. Because I don't think I missed any off there. I don't think I have. I might have more likely, but I don't think I have. But I was gonna say, but with all those tasting notes, it's just really, really incredible. 
But then 22 from the island is there. Absolutely beautiful. They've really not... Really, really knocked out the part of this gin. So I'd give this for taste. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. It's near enough perfect. So design 8, maybe a little bit harsher. Some really do like the design, but for me, I just love Roku, the design like that. I think it's a little bit better than the Botanica gin like that. It's because it's really nice craft. Don't get me wrong, but I think the bottle is a little bit better. It's because I like it. I say maybe at 31. It's because say 8 out of 10 for price. I think it's a really nice design. It's because say. Because at £31, I think it's generally priced on that. I think it's on the lower side to it, but maybe it'll be a little bit harsh with A, but I'm comparing against Roku's, I gave that 8 out of 10 for £31, I'm giving this 8 out of 10 as well. So that's 8, 8, 16, and then 9, and so 8, 8, 9. So, so 8 for design, 8 for price, and 9 for taste. So that gives it 25 out of 30, which is 8.33 out of 10. That is certainly on the Mixed Radar up there. It's because it's one of the better drinks. Can't wait to try it out. I can't wait to make a few GTs with it and of course I want to try because I'm cussed for this gin I want to make a Ramosh gin fizz with it. It's because that's my go-to. But I don't think you can go wrong with this gin. It's really nice and I certainly recommend it. I think it's a good shot for Andreas GC. I think it's hit it with this. And like I said I can't wait to make a few cocktails. I think it'd be perfect for cocktails using this because I certainly with the beautiful weather that I'm having now hopefully it'll stay Nice and sunny for a rest of the week as we aim to, as we are now in June, absolutely incredible. So hopefully the weather picks up and it'll continue being beautiful. So I've been mixed it. This is my Britannia gin review. What do you guys think if you ever had this gin? Do let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this one. But I will, but don't forget to like, subscribe to Mixes. It really does help the channel grow and I do appreciate your support. And I will see you guys for my next cocktail video. Cheers.